Ooh. Yo, prop hunt this weekend? That's actually gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited about that. Throughout this whole week, I haven't played much Call of Duty. I've been playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege, which is really weird for me. But now, prop hunt. Prop Hunt is enough for, to make me want to play this whole weekend. They actually did make some changes to Prop Hunt. Hopefully they didn't mess with it too bad. I, I did see that health regeneration is now taken off, which is needed. As well as I think they lessened the EXP that you get from it, which honestly isn't that big of a deal. But that was one of the reasons why we were playing it so much. You could sit there and just AFK and talk to your friends and still get experience. It was even worse during Slasher. I remember inside Slasher, all you had to do was AFK inside of a corner and then just leave. I'm not saying I did that or that I know people who did do that just talking about it so inside other news youtube is still failing youtube is uh is still not fixed no one's making money no ads are, are still being shown but that doesn't stop twitch from actually making itself better which is crazy i i haven't really been a twitch streamer in about maybe uh, well over a year i used to stream on twitch every single day you know, for almost three years. I was actually never partnered, but they just came out with this affiliate program, which makes it to where you're, you're not a full partner, but you're still able to get bits. You're still able to get subs in the future. And I'm actually pretty excited. They actually invited me to be a Twitch affiliate. And all honesty, I don't think is that big of a deal. I think that most people are becoming Twitch affiliates. I did see that Battleman, Mike, as you guys may have known, also got invited. It must not be super hard to get into. I think it's just if you stream enough and probably have enough followers or concurrent viewers something along those lines that's gonna be pretty exciting the whole thing i've always wanted was to get that sub button on twitch that's like a really big thing for people which i guess is kind of gonna take that out to where whenever people got partnered there was always like a big party everyone always you know you raid that person everyone's so excited yeah that never happened to me but i went to all my friends i went to all of all of my friends getting partnered but for some reason i didn't i'm not playing this oh there we go there we go I was gonna say, like, I'm not doing well, and then I just shot him in the fucking face. So, so that's pretty cool. I, I streamed last night on Twitch. We played some League of Legends. We may actually be playing some Destiny tonight. I asked Battleman if he wanted to play with me. We'll probably jump on with a couple friends, do some stuffs. I think I'm still light 382, so I do have to get up to 400, which I don't know why I want to get up to 400. The game's about to be ir irrelevant in a couple months, but it's fun, you know, it's something to do. As I said, though, I have been playing Rainbow Six Siege a hell of a lot more than I have been playing this, just trying to get better. I actually have noticed that IQ is actually kind of useless. She's not a good character like I thought she would be, which sucks because she has pink shoes and I really want to use the pink shoes. I've actually been using a lot of Sledge. I really don't know the name of the people yet. Like, I know what most of them do, but I'm still learning. Sledge seems really cool because I like breaking down walls and I like, you know, just going in from any angle. I want to say the only thing I don't like about Rainbow Six Siege is I kind of don't want to stream it and I'm kind of scared to make videos on it. The community for Rainbow Six Siege is just, this is so cringy. I can't even watch. I'm a pro player and you're, you're just doing bad and it make, it hurts me to watch somebody play this game so bad. I actually do want to talk about Call of Duty 2017 as well. The World War II Call of Duty that just got announced. I do want to talk about it, but I feel like I have way too much to say. I can probably make its own video of just how much I really want to say about it. So tomorrow we'll probably get one of like my thoughts, all of like the explanations of everything of it. There's just a couple things that they've been doing with the Call of Duties for the past three years that I, I don't really see fitting. I want to say one of the things that I really want to talk about and I want to start a conversation about, which I'll go more in depth tomorrow, is the skins. I, I wonder how like skins on guns are gonna work is it gonna be like battlefield one because to be honest the ones inside battlefield one are fucking useless you just have a gun and then you you unlock a dirtier epic gun it just has more dirt on it because if, if there's gonna be a hub like the headquarters like what exactly are we gonna be showing off to each other if we don't have camos if we don't have you know things to change the way we look because it said that it's historically accurate so i wonder how crazy it's gonna get i don't know we'll see maybe we'll have clowns again eric's character back inside advanced warfare i really am excited about the twitch affiliate program though there's a lot of people on twitch that aren't making any money because I was actually one of those people to where you stream every day, you put your heart and soul in it, you buy all this equipment, you show up every day, you have these amazing communities, and Twitch doesn't pay you. It's a thing to where you still get donations and still have your Patreon, but there's none coming from the company that you're promoting and that is profiting off of you. Like, I always thought that was bad. And this is a step in the right direction for them. Oh wait, Kill House? What the fuck? I don't have the map pack. If I get to play inside Kill House, even, even for like a minute, it's probably gonna kick me out because I don't have the DLC. I don't know, that's gonna be pretty cool. I've actually never played on this map. No, you don't have this map, it is damaged or the game is not fully installed. Damn it. Has anyone actually purchased the maps for this game? 
I wonder if it was a flop because I don't even hear anyone talking about it. I feel like no one watched it, but guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I just want to talk about the Twitch affiliate program. I feel like I could have went more in depth into it. I am actually trying my best to be on Twitch a lot more. I'm trying to upload every day on YouTube as well as stream on Twitch every day at 8 p.m. Eastern. As long as my internet holds up. The reason why we haven't streamed in the past week is because of my upload at a certain time just doesn't work anymore. But last night we actually were on, we played League of Legends last night. Tonight we'll either be playing Destiny or we'll be playing Rainbow Six Siege. If you want to hang out with me tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, click the link down below on Twitch, give it a follow, and I'll see you guys tonight.